so first we will be using this table name and uh, the syntax is very simple define view view name as select from and here we have the table name here snw underscore s o now what we have to do next is we have to mention the second table with the inner joint keyword so we'll say inner join and uh, the second table name will be your employee table so i'll just get the name here employees and uh, copy it and we will be basically putting it here now once we say inner join then the second table is this we will have to do this inner join over a field or multiple fields but i will be basically doing it over one field on and uh, that field is going to be the node id of your employee and the sales order header it will be created by and uh, if the created by as you can see here as soon as i enter full stop or dot here i get a search help and that is going to be very helpful in development with cds views you will be able to get all the fields inside the table values and uh, you can use it in the program and not only this you can basically chain it as well for example if created by have a structure then i can even have a dot here and go inside that so that we will be seeing in coming few sections as well so here the second table name this can be structure as well not only the table so here the field is node key now what i would like to be present in this view i will have to mention inside this bracket so i will say sales order id so that is going to be one thing which i need and i will be also going to have maybe some financial details cross amount and um, in the employees we will be going to have first name and uh, we will also have email address and also we will have the last name we can bring the last name just after first name and that's all so let's keep our structure with only these fields and um, as you can see that if there is some syntax error then we will have that particular highlighted and here you can also see what is the error we are missing a comma here so once i add the comma then everything is all okay there's no error and um, i will save it with control s and go for activation here control f3 is a shortcut here to activate and uh, there are a few warnings but no errors to run it to see the report i will have to press f8 and uh, you can see the final output here and um, we have the sales order id gross amount first name last name and email address in a view which is built with codata services and this is also present inside a bab repository and now the view here is part of your dictionary a bab dictionary so if i select the view name and i go to navigate and navigate to or i just press f3 then i will be navigated to my sap system where the structure i can see so this is the cool part where i can see the view name this is the view name which i have and um, as you can see here the name of the view which i gave here sql view name is basically a dictionary structure ddl sql view and the ddl source is this view so if you are using this view again to create one more cds view which we will do in association as well then i will be using this name which is the view name and if i'm using it inside or using as, as a structure then i will be using sql view name here so these are two different 
names. Now, this is something which we have not seen in our calculation or attributes or analytical view. Those were not part of the ABAP repository. The CDS views are part of ABAP repository. Now, if this is your first CDS view development, then I hope that you will be very happy to see your CDS view or a view inside your HANA database repository. And um, we can do a lot of things once we have view present inside the BAP repository. We can use it in a BAP programs. We can use function or functionalities inside your CDS views to extract data and use it in a BAP program. We can also expose the CDS views with annotation as a OData service, which we will see in the coming section as well. So this is the first part where we understood a basic CDS view creation. Now we will be seeing how to implement some of the advanced features in CDS views in the next section.